good day. My name is Tony Botting and I'm a simulation specialist at Go Engineer. And today I just wanted to highlight a little bit about the uh, course and the fine mesh settings. And I've got an analog for that. And what we're looking at here is what you could consider a coarse mesh. Um, and we'll show another overlay here of a fine mesh that was done on a different study of the fillet inside the, uh, the uh, corner there. And so fine mesh just means smaller elements uh, in a particular area. You can do that or the whole model. And a coarse mesh just means that it's a larger finite element size. Now this setting is coming from the mesh dialog. I'll go ahead and uh, right click and choose create mesh. And that warns me that of course it's going to uh, delete the results. But we've got the slider here set to coarse. And I'm going to click on the uh, mesh parameters item down below. And you'll see the size uh, that's labeled here, global size. That's kind of an average size of each element. And it's a particular value. And if I run that course, and sorry, if I run the slider from course to fine, you can see the uh, average global element size getting smaller. So what is that good for? Well, it turns out that uh, if you run the uh, element size to fine, in other words, smaller mesh, you can get more accurate answers than you would with a coarser mesh. And the consequence of that is computational solution time and meshing time are going to be increased. So the upshot of this is, and here I've got some models done. I'll, I'll try to show the results here. I've got a coarse mesh setting, and we've got a, a value of stress of 9.193. And on study number three here at the bottom, I'll show that mesh. And I put in a mesh control here in the corner. I'll zoom in on that. And this is a finer mesh. There's more elements in here to represent the stress field. And I'll go ahead and show that stress field. And you're getting an answer that is a little higher. And generally, this will start to converge to a number that's con constant. Um, and also, you're looking for a nice smooth gradient of colors. So. We'll look at the analog of this. and the analog, I have set up a little circle here, which you can explain to your friends at a party or not. But say we've got this circle drawn in SOLIDWORKS, and we know the parameter of that. I'll go ahead to the Measure tool and take a look at that. That's 15.71 inch parameter. So say we did not know that, but we had a measuring stick, like a yardstick or um, an inch ruler or a meter stick. And you could place these meter sticks along the parameter, and I'll do that with the polygon tool. So say uh, we've got a nice even number of them, six will fit, and I'll go ahead and put down six. And you'll notice each segment is selected, and say we know the length of each segment. So we'll go ahead and measure that total parameter represented by the segments, that's 15 inches. And you can think of the segments here as finite elements. We know the length of each one, um, and it, this could be considered a coarse mesh on this circle to get an answer. I'm going to undo that and we're going to put in some more. We'll put in say 10 line segments. And of course you notice these are shorter line segments. This corresponds to a finer mesh and it better represents the circumference of the circle. Let's go ahead and measure that. We're getting 15.45 inches. So we're approaching that 15.71. I'll undo that and let's put in 25 segments. So now we've got measuring stick that is shorter. So this corresponds to a finer mesh. There's shorter elements or smaller elements, shorter line segments. We'll measure that measure. And we're getting to 15.67. So this is approaching or converging to the correct answer, which we know is 15.71 uh, inches. So I hope that was a good analog and you liked the video. Thank you.